just where my mind's stuck on grind, getting dizzy. If you down a ride by my side, then you with me. I ain't gotta lie, I got pride in my city, justified. Guess that's why I stay busy, work. Nice way to start things off. Uh, coming back after our, a little break. And then hopefully we'll be coming back with our post as well after a little break. It's just been busy. I haven't been able to yeah. do them for a couple a months. Hopefully in December. That'll be a nice December comeback. Uh, but in addition, you know, we've got a lot of stuff really coming out. A lot of new things uh, coming from like, I say winter, but it's really winter spring since we're already like halfway new th through November. Yeah. And so like oh, we have, fast. it really is. I mean, <laughs> op and here, all right. So a couple things. We'll start off with the Detective Pikachu since we, uh, obviously put that on first but yeah my biggest thing right now for that is ryan reynolds as detective pikachu and i knew about this for a we while all, yeah we all knew but uh i you know i was really wanting danny devito to be uh <laughs> and I, everyone's been telling me about that danny devito video and i think i've seen it once and i still like i just don't like danny devito for it either no. like it's funny but it's it's I want it to be like Pikachu and I don't I feel like Danny and Ryan have such distinct like voices that when I hear them talking I just hear from Ryan. Right I don't know. They're just I just so see love Deadpool. Danny. It's like that's what I Deadpool see. I three Deadpool. looks really three. That just, just like. <laughs> but yeah, I would have like I said it would have been funny to see Danny. DeVito. I think it would have been interesting because I've seen that one where they cut him together into the Detective Pikachu stuff. Yeah, a lot, that's a, like when they first announced it. A lot of people said, "Oh, that's who they thought it was going to be was Danny DeVito." Yeah, or but they wanted it to be. I at just least. I think it would be really tough with his current like image. <laughs> <laughs> like his whole image is just like is it destroyed from uh, always sunny? sunny. Yeah, pretty he, much. He does the most around He does. Stuff well, the that. thing is, it's not even that. It's he does that and nothing else. He's been shit with Sunny for like. A couple of years. I, I still watch Always Sunny. He still does. I know, the but most he does. Stuff but ever. but that's what I mean is like he doesn't do anything but Sunny lately. Like he's basically done. Like he there's other stuff, but that's what you know him for is like for the crazy there shit he does be, on Sunny. There would be no Sunny without Frank. Oh yeah, they would have <laughs> never made it past season three. Maybe even two. They needed him in two for sure. The ad was really good. Don't yeah, get me wrong. Have you been was... watching the new season of Always Sunny? Uh, no, I haven't been caught up in a while. I'm I, so I, behind I, I've been watching though. all the seasons since like maybe the, uh, the last five seasons I've nice. been watching. They're not long. They only do like ten episodes. Yeah, they really aren't very long. Yeah. And then even the episodes themselves, like they're... What, 30, 40 minutes or something? No, they're only like 30 minutes. Not yeah. even that... Probably like Late, 25, less for, yeah, less for commercials, and stuff. commercials. Cause it's like, yeah, I'm I'm just trying to think of them. Like all the stories are real short and kind of just. They said that they're about to be ending here soon though, because they're like there's only so much you can do. Yeah. You can do like, well, and that's for every like series. You don't want to drag it on too long, or it gets really messed up, and you yeah. really just don't see any benefits from it. But so I guess back to Detective Pikachu. We went off onto the other. So like. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds, I feel like we they needed a less known actor, or maybe just a different tone of actor, because, like I said, both Ryan and DeVito lately are only known for two things, really, and they're very raunchy, Deadpool. and yeah, Deadpool, and then Sonny, like, and they're both very raunchy, and it's cool, but that's, like, where the focus is on them, and so it, like, really draws a little bit of the spotlight away. Now, having said that, I really do like that they're doing the Detective Pikachu stuff, and that... I kind of like the look of the Pokemon in there. I love the look. Yeah. A lot of people, it's like split again. Like yeah, and my is. thing is like, all right, so it's you were never going to get a full, like 100% animated, you know what I mean, integration. That just not. There's no way to do it. You can't make what's animated look exactly the way it does in real life. You have That's to go for pseudo-realistic. Yeah, and they still put in a lot. They did like the custom designs. Like, have you seen the pictures of the Pokemon out of the uh context of the thing like they made models of all the pokemon oh yeah yeah, yeah. and so uh, my thing though is like the sure size of them on some of them and i think some of it's like so we were talking about like me and i think it maybe it was even last week we talked about we were breaking down like frame by frame trying to pick out which pokemon were like you could see being animated or what and then we saw one and it's like a giant gengar and a giant and we're like those are probably blow up like macy day float balloons because there's no way those pokemon are that big <laughs> i wonder i wonder how much first gen pokemon we're gonna see the thing is we saw a ton already we saw bulbasaur charizard Pikachu. Did we see Squirtle? I, feel like I don't we think we saw Squirtle. a Squirtle yet. I thought there was. There, there might was have been a Squirtle. Like, 
I think it was with the Bulbasaurus. I don't think it was with the maybe. Bulbasaurus. I, I think maybe in the cage section when they're like... There's a couple parts. Because the thing is, when you look at it, it's relatively actually... You'll get like a scene when you break down the uh, trailer. You get like 20 seconds of Pokemon action. And then a big 30 chunk second of no Pokemon mm. action really. Like you barely even see any Pokemon, if any... And then you're back to the Detective Pikachu thing, yeah. like, halfway through it, and then it's Pokemon till the end. But, like, that first part is very, like, back and forth, like, all right, Pokemon, all right, detective stuff, life stuff, Pokemon, then what, Ryan Reynolds, Pikachu. What's uh, your idea on furry uh, Jigglypuff? <laughs> yeah, I don't, the thing is, people are all, like, offended, but, like, offended what did you think was, Jigglypuff. like, all right, I guess first I of all, Jigglypuff has hair, we know, because it's the curl. That yeah, is a that's pompadour. True. That is it's true. That you got the curl. So you knew Jigglypuff had hair. You're just mad that he has body hair and not just head hair. That's <laughs> what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing, which is a really I specific guess it thing to be. I would probably look better if it was just head hair and then maybe. I just don't head. know. I, like, would it? I, 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 show me a picture. Maybe it would have shown. Like, there, I, yeah, there will be a picture. There will. There will be fan you know edits. There will be. And the thing being, like, fan edits are. One, one thing, fan edits are sometimes, like, cool in pictures but probably wouldn't work in video yeah. so like they'll do like a nice cut down but then it's like all right but you're actually missing like the sheen and the dynamics of a real life video here where's your shading you know integration all your different stuff that you need and and that has to be most and you know what i mean and then cost right like that's mm. for any film like they've already probably blew so much money on detective pikachu like not yeah. blue, but you know what I'm saying. But they got Spend. money, Nintendo. Oh, ah, yeah. Them all have Especially money for, for Pokemon. Spend and then these. it's Legendary that's producing it, isn't it? Uh, I don't remember who's producing it. Yeah, Legendary. They're a big company as well. Yeah. They that's have... the thing. Pokemon's, it's not like it's a, a risk. You know what I mean? Pokemon's yeah. a tried oh, and true money maker. Yeah, so they, they know this is going to yeah, be Yeah, the, what they're really risking right now is, a, I mean, a hit, maybe not, but a, you don't think it's it'll be, be money. I think it will, but... That's not guaranteed in the yeah. studios. That's, but what they do know is it will absolutely make back the money they spend and make some oh, profit. Oh, that, yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? And what they're really doing for this is to test the waters and see if live-action Pokemon franchise is possible. You know what I'm saying? There's no way this is a... If this does good, this means... Yeah, they're going to do more. Animes exactly. Do and good. other stuff. Maybe Digimon. Maybe... You know what I mean? And I even more. All right. Digimon. And speaking of the <laughs> anime stuff, so, like, let's... Oh, wait. I forgot to turn Michael back on. I was wondering why he wasn't talking. Ha -ha. He's probably like saying things. He's probably like, I can't say anything. Ha ha. There he goes. Now he's God. off. All right, I got to turn it back off again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, you ding too much. I, I fixed that. I turned off my DM All right. notifications. Finally. But yeah. Uh, and I was going to say, speaking of anime, uh, did you hear about the Devil May Cry stuff? Oh, with Castlevania, Castlevania, but it's supposed to be in the same universe. Right? I mean, I'm not even really concerned He's about the fact. He's calling it the bootleg universe. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but I'm not even concerned about the universe stuff or even the Devil May Cry stuff because one, I've seen uh, oh, the first one they did that was trash. The original, original one from the old school is that great. That was trash. Uh, I didn't like it. It was I trash. Love it. It's so because good. he didn't use his fucking weapons bad. or anything to literally like the last episode. I was like, what is this? He just like. <laughs> Karate chopping them all through the whole thing. I was like, I'm he fucked not. everybody. I don't up. like this. Great. This isn't my Dante. And he was, and his <laughs> jokes were on point. That Dante was a hundred percent story accurate. I, I said I'd watch it again, but I, was it the jokes pretty on point then? Oh yeah, everything was. was honestly, everything good. about the I one I saw was on point. I think the only thing I didn't like was that the, there wasn't a lot of his action. I don't know if you saw the his... same one I saw because he was using ebony and ivory the whole series. The one I watched. I have to watch it again then. You better go. It's been a very long time. He's like, you better go rewatch. I just had to talk about it with my friend who only does devil fucking Zach. Yeah. All of his stuff. He's like, what are you doing? All my dreams are R-rated, kid. Shut up. I could have sworn he didn't really use his weapons, but... I, 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 I mean, maybe not as much as he uses them in the game, but I'm, I've... I don't I, like he at least got to use that much like I know, that, but, but like, I, I think he used know, them like at least once scene, an episode. You see the very badassness of him in the games, and then I didn't see that... Right, but how are you going to do that with that anime. old school animation? I don't know. I just yeah. I didn't see that portrayed in the anime version. Like, like they said, they, they made an animated version of him. Like you so said, I'm not his, really his attitude, his jokes, everything was on point. But like his badassness was not there. To me, it wasn't. I but like I said, I have to watch it again. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I think that'll, have, that'll be one of our personal... I don't know. What did you think? Have you seen the original anime, Michael? 
of Devil May Cry? Yes, I have. I actually thought it was pretty good. It, it, it did kind of grate me how he didn't use most of his weapons that he yeah, has see, access to. So. Like, which, that's the thing. The, what evidence? Every game he has different fucking weapons. The only two or three weapons that are consistent are Ebony and Ivory. He literally never pulled out Rebellion. It literally just sat there for yeah, looks I mean, for that's, the entire time. Need like, it. Are you he, ever going to sh- use Rebellion? What, why does he need to use there? Rebellion? He shoots everything in the game. You don't even have to use Rebellion. But the guns are so weak in the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you need to upgrade your guns more. Than... I do, but I only use you got to use your guns better because the guns can be the strongest weapon in like half the games. Because I'll just be tapping like the whole yeah, time. Yeah, you got to upgrade your stuff and do more combos then. Cause I Ebony and Ivory game, are though, some of his like. You you have a shitty score. I mean, you're using nothing but Ebony and Ivory. Oh yeah, but that's yeah. different than being able to do it. That doesn't mean they don't do damage. It means you don't have the style points from using all your stuff. Ebony and Ivory Which, basically shoot the style everything. Points, then you're playing wrong. Oh jeez. <laughs> God forbid you just beat the game. <laughs> uh. So everyone's together style is like, I finished it in five seconds. It took them ten minutes to do all their stupid style points. I finished it in five seconds. <laughs> it's like literally half of those dumbass battles. Hit all the things. Or you could just shoot him ten million times and he falls down. That's that's literally the the problem with those games is except for when you do cutscene strike fights, you can literally just sit there in the air, shoot, shoot, switch to the next guy, shoot, shoot. Switch to the next guy. I mean, I like the movement system and stuff. The, cause it was very similar to not Assassin's, well, kind of Assassin's Creed, but it was another game's open f- style fighting, so you can switch from one combat to another. But the problem with DMC was, is like it was really quite quite easy to do any of the switches. Well, they didn't they didn't do that until the first, that newest one that came out with in like yeah the reboot. Yeah, because the number three you had to like stop in the middle game and then switch your weapons out and then unstop the game yeah they didn't have the quick system until they did the, the new jump yeah, yeah the new one with ne- uh, neo was it neo mm, i don't think nero, th- nero. i thought nero no, was in nero. the one before that one because i thought the quick mm, jump system only... was the one when they did the reboot back mm. to the original devil may cry no, so nero was the first one and then the reboot came out which is the yeah that's reboot. what i thought I that's why i said liked. i thought they had the open combat system not with nero but maybe they did Oh, maybe it was also as you know what I think yeah, it wasn't until the newest one. Yeah, yeah with um, because that's when they added the new. Uh, yeah, because it's you're very because right. it's basic and not saying it's stolen, but it's adapted from the Assassin's Creed open system where you can hit him in the air and, and then move. It was the that one, that right. one? I, yeah, Four. I didn't like that version of it. See, and that's the other thing about DMC as a game as opposed to their anime that they do good but they also mess up as they'll do a lot of remastering stuff and don't get me wrong i like remasters, but that's the same problem with resident evil you can't just keep remastering the game on new systems and not making yeah. a new fucking game well, i'm just glad that they're going to be doing this new one and finally going to be continuing where they left off on the last one that we really enjoyed with uh, the introduction of nero yeah Damn it, I can't even see. Cause they and then Dante the looks pretty badass in there again with his motorcycle weapon. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But yeah, I mean, it looks... Would you, have you seen that gameplay? Uh, I've seen a little bit of it. I'm not really... Like, the thing about, like I said, even the prior Devil May Cry's, while you couldn't, like, switch weapons in mid-combat, the combo system was made so that you could bash people. Yeah. Then that's really yeah. what it is. It's a, it's a fucking spamming... Uh, fighter. Well, which and, is that, and then you have to be on time too, because there's. Oh yeah, but that's combos mm, for every. Yeah, oh, yeah, but like if you do too quick, it's not gonna do the special attack. You have to kind of like do pauses between each one. There's times that. You... Well, yeah. But yeah, it's a pretty good game. I've always liked those games. They're always fun to me. Yeah, so. I've enjoyed them, but the they're one of those ones for me that it, much like. And granted, some games are that way, like De- uh, GTA and Red Dead, that where they don't change between their iterations. Oh, it's just a new advancement. I'm loving Red Dead. But, and here's my thing about the difference. So GTA and Red Dead aren't about changing the game. They're about expanding mm-hmm. the level of things you can do. You know what I mean? The new Red Dead, you have more options for guns, more options for horses, hunting, uh, well, that, fishing. Um, what the one more ex- I've really got like really amazed about was that like how, op- like how alive the world is. Yeah, the connectedness of the world is really... If you uh, really just sit there and watch people... 
Like they'll they, do. Stuff. They just do like everyday shit. Oh yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> the one I had the other day, some guy just shot himself in the leg in front of me. He just sitting there listening and they're talking. He's like, "What are you doing with that gun, you dang fool?" It's like, ah, I just bought it at the thing. It's my nice new rifle. Bang! Shoots himself <laughs> in the leg. Oh god, we gotta get going. He just follow me. They just run into the woods. They don't go anywhere. But there's several different examples of that. Uh, oh, hey, look, this is Christina Montoya. Awesome. Hey, thanks for joining, Christina. Although it looks like we're having some oh, we some video issues. issues. Can't tell because my on internet you. download is. I would check on my phone, but my battery's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Good yeah, um, that's pretty. I guess the one thing. Yeah, that's like there's other stuff. So, raised. did you do you do the well? You, since you've been playing, you've done the mission. I've assume where you. Uh, so I'm on like chapter four. Yeah. All right. Then you've definitely done this because this is like in Valentine, where oh, yeah. you meet the guy who notices you and you have to chase him and he falls off the cliff. I don't know if I've seen that one. You don't remember? Remember? Oh, did you? Do, it might have been a side mission. The one it where you go in time with. Uh, you go into town with Uncle, with the girls. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you remember. And remember someone recognizes oh, you and you have to hop on yeah, the horse yeah, yeah, and chase yeah, 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 him. So yep. regardless of whatever, you know, you get different outcomes. You can save him, threaten him, whatever. Uh -huh. You know, afterwards, you stole someone's horse to go out there, right? I did this a couple oh, times. Oh, yeah, where you can take the horse back. Right? Yeah, and, okay. he, and you take it back and he's like, wow, you really were just borrowing my horse, mister. Yeah. And that's like a really crazy level of like he recognizes. I, and I almost want to go back and check. Like if I went... It came back with a different horse. Would would you know what he noticed? Would he say something? Because that game interaction that comp because sometimes it's they're not and sometimes they are, but they're just interesting in how the world reacts around you. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the ones have you seen the video of where it's like uh, the the moose hitting the woman and killing her while she's giving the guy the side quest. Or whatever. I don't think I've seen that one. So basically, he like comes up there and he's like, "Oh, thank goodness you came by. My horse died, and I need it." Bam! A moose just hits her, and she's dead. <laughs> it was it, bro. That was it. And it's really, it really does happen. Like they, like there were a couple things. I have a couple of them recorded. One other thing though is like, uh, I do want to spend the time talking about the shitty parts of Red Dead because there are a couple things that I'm unhappy with. One is controls. Oh, you like the controls? Oh God, the the interaction After between a while, the world. I kind of got used to. It's not even. It, it, they're all badly reactive, and like you'll have to go around certain things a couple times in order oh, to. Oh, you mean like that? Yeah, yeah like world. And I know it's a sacrifice that you make for open world. I try to like. I guess it doesn't really work that well, but if, like if you hold the lock one and then you kind of move yeah. them around, it kind of makes you go to the next thing. It does. It doesn't the, work that way. Well, but the well, thing though. is, it's it's just everything about that. You know what I mean? And I and. A lot of where it happen is one when you're riding your horse through oh, terrain. Oh yeah, that for sure. Cause I'm sure you've seen the meme. It's like trip, hit tree, horse just doesn't know what to do. Sweats because literally like half the time when you're trying to turn your horse to it, it'll just be like fuck it, tree, bam. Yeah, it doesn't know falls to get out the, the way. It just still goes through the tree. And, right, and I, it's it's one of those things like so while it is a beautiful game, the storytelling is amazing and dynamic, and most of the gameplay is hyper realistic and very like in depth. What pulls me out of it sometimes are those minor, like, ease of function uses where it's like, all right, I want to come up and do this. No, not, no. Oh, I jumped off a cliff. <laughs> like, I've done that, like, three times where I'm like, all right, pick this. Oh, nope, jump. <laughs> Whee! Or, like, I'll be riding in the auto ride mode. You can set yourself up, and I'll run somebody over <laughs> and kill them. And then I'll be... wanted. Mm-hmm. And so there's just a couple of things like that. The other one I have that I recorded and uploaded is I had someone just disappear during a mission. Like a character model, vanish. Yeah, gone. they did. No, they did say that. That was in the the snow mission. Is that what happened? No, mine no. happened. Uh, do you remember? You got to go and get Tilly from the Johnson boys or something. I don't know. I don't know if you're not that far yet. It might be in chapter five. Maybe. Uh, are you in... Uh, I just got this to Saint. Uh, Saint. Okay, so you might not be there yet. If you just got there, it's probably on the way. I was basically I you're just literally two hours trying to get this dude, white horse. Oh, you went to try to get it, but I don't know if it's there anymore. It's I don't know kinda, how it. Like my mind wasn't there. Like where they said it's right. supposed to be, and, and that's like, the it's, thing. It's like you never know for those because it's so open world. Like it cannot be. And then people were like, "Yeah, it should still be there." I'm like, "Well, I don't see it." It's like the other thing and then is, I was like, like I don't know if I if I chased it away because I well, I seen there's a great bison right up there, mm -hmm. so I killed that. 
So I don't know if the gunshots actually chased it away, and I don't know like how long it actually it takes to fine. reset. Uh, are you in? Uh, yeah, it seems yeah. fine. Just making sure it was good. But yeah, I, I know what you're saying, and it, it the thing is the interactiveness of the world is really crazy. Like you said, one thing could change something the other, and the other time there are certain things that are non changeable. So I met this one guy that you meet later on in chapter five or six that he just goes hunting and fishing with you. He's like this old guy. But he has this really nice, like, cream-colored horse. And, it, <laughs> and it's like, I want it so bad, but you can't kill him and you can't steal it. <laughs> like, it won't let you even get on it while it's stable outside his house. I got so pissed I burned it down. <laughs> it won't let you shoot it, but I set fire under it and it fucking burned to death. <laughs> did anything happen no it came back later but it was just one of those yeah. things like i wish though like later it would have been like yeah. someone burned damn my horse down like yeah burned my horse a lot but that would take an incredibly really can't wait till they come out with the online version that's I really i think everybody's waiting for is red dead online now because and don't get me wrong i'm not even through the story mostly because i've been doing side mission yeah, i do every side mission. I, I just oh, i just explore everything and there's i've been having fun with this and yep. then just looking have at... you have you met the robot no i haven't seen the robot but you know my favorite scene was was that i was just riding one day or one night and uh i seen like all the ku klan yeah members. did you see him with the fire yeah they were all getting at the fire and then they fucked up Light, light and then up. they all started getting on fire it's like oh and then i started shooting them <laughs> <laughs> i just let them all burn it i was like laughing my eyes i was like i wonder what happens if i just sit here and watch them because i do that for people i'll just follow them or just sit and watch them after certain stuff happens so like one people like you'll save people from like there's a woman getting kidnapped or whatever on the road i don't know if you've seen her i yet. tried to do that one too but i fucked up and died <laughs> <laughs> well i got her and i get let her loose she just runs off Oh. She didn't do anything. She just so I followed her for like, ever, like at, like thirty minutes. Did. Yeah, she didn't do shit. She just ran off. So some of them are like on end base storylines. Sometimes it's just like yeah, all right. Sometimes flee. some of those little things are like actual. They are. They're huge. Like uh, big things. Yeah. Well, have you saved the guys from the snake bites yet? I saved one guy and then he got me. I, uh, he, yeah. he let me buy something from the store. That's pretty much what they do. When you save people from the traps and stuff, they'll later see you in certain towns and be like, on me. And I always buy the most expensive thing. Yeah, so then I go in there and be like, mm, I wonder what's the most expensive thing like, in there. Oh, look at this outfit. Clean. It's like, gun? Yes, sir. <laughs> and then no. I finally just met the trapper so I could finally get better. Uh, oh, yeah. Satchels. Like reinforced, and yeah, satchels yeah. and stuff. The thing about that is you got to do a decent amount of hunting, and then even then you have to be decent at the hunting because you got to yeah, get perfect you, pelts. And you can't die either because if you die, then you lose all your shit. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, ah, okay, this is. Yeah, it's a little annoying. The thing is, you as you play through the story, you'll get chances to kill legendary things. That's the one cool thing yeah. about the veterans. You, like every time you kill something, it's a legendary animal, and those are oh, those, always those stay with yep. you. Yeah, that's and what those I are always out. dope. Those are the only ones, though. Everything else, you kind of have to keep it. So my question is, do the trinkets? Do they stay? Like once you get them, do they like act? I think you at have that to. One point? I think you have to I have tried them on. To, I try to figure out how to put them on. And then you... I think you have to go to your outfit stuff and do your accessories. What like have, have you gone to your again. actual? Uh, I have to look again. Yeah, I, don't know. I, I thought you could just. I thought, like, once you created the item... I thought you might... Well, and I know you can get it, but then it would be weird because you'd have what, a ton what of What do you do with a trinket? You just pop it on something, but still. It'd it's be like... like I mean, it's like a rabbit. Weird, like a lion's paw on your... Yeah, like, that's the thing, though. It's like, all right, yeah, there's other ones, too, because, like, it's different than a rabbit's foot. Lion paw, yeah. From, okay, <laughs> that was so my you favorite bet, mission. Yeah, the zoo one like was... I love it because it's like, all right... Let's go get our zebra and At first, our I thought he was for tiger. real, like a zebra. Yeah, and like, then oh, you went in and you're like, All right, this, this is a, a And then homie's beat. like laughing. He's like, oh, what the hell did they do to you? Like, <laughs> he's like, you, they fucked you and, over. And then they did the fucking, uh, the cougar as a fucking Oh, as a tiger? tiger and they and ate the dog. dog. He's like, that's like, your oh, that's He's like, all right, now up. you got to get a lion. So now, third mission in, I'm like, all right, ain't no lion. I get there, it's like <laughs> dead person. I'm like, oh, this is going to be no, a real but the, lion. The, the one thing that was like, one, the homies are like, he's just like, he said on it, like, it's not, it's not a lion. He's like, no, that ain't a lion, that's a dog. And then the guys, as soon as you go in, he's like... Well, that didn't look like no dog to me. I'm you know? <laughs> like, oh, shit, maybe this isn't a dog. Or Dude, a... as soon as I got there and I saw something that was actually dead, I'm like, oh, fuck, this is going to be a real fucking lion watch. Because the last one is like a cougar, and I'm like, it was an actual cougar. It wasn't like a bitch-ass, like, cat. <laughs> and they're, they're escalating. I'm like, fuck, it's going to be a real lion. Go in, real lion. Oh, I, and I wasn't ready at all. I didn't have no guns. I had, like, my one gun. I had the pistol. I just yep. kept shooting at it like, a couple ah, times. <laughs> until fuck it you, died. Lion. And then uh, I, 
I'll also say I find it interesting the things that you can skin, not skin in, like, the different or stuff. Like, the rabbit when he's just like, yeah. like, dang, Have right. you done a turtle yet? Now that you're in the turtles, they're yeah. in, you'll have to go to the bayou to do the alligators and the turtles. Yeah. yeah. They're similar, though, although it's cool. So you do the alligator, you take the head. Okay. And it's like, that's the, it's the different stuff. So you get the horn here and there. I don't know. I really do have enjoyed Red Dead. I've put on a ton of hours on it now because we've been streaming it. Yeah, you could put Nick, a lot of hours uh-oh. into it. It's been doing that a lot. Okay, so that means it's just dropping. At least, though, that doesn't mean it's saying. That means, I don't know, my internet's been weird. I'm going to have to call my company and bitch at them. Because apparently getting what I pay for is impossible for internet speed. Oh, over here in this area? I is don't that know. what they're trying to say? I don't know. Oh, yeah. it, it just seems to be like any internet company, if I don't bug them, they consistently will drop my stuff. Mm. And I don't know why it's like, come on, guys. I understand you'll have regular drops, but, I mean, I was at a download speed of, like, three megabytes the other day <laughs> and i pay for like a hundred. Oh wow or at least 50 dude at least 50 and my upload speed is okay but i pay for like 10 there and i'm maybe getting five and like there's a couple other people no one else is streaming no one, who else is fucking streaming to take up five gigabytes of my fucking bandwidth mm-hmm. you know what i mean but i you know that's just the internet companies I don't know. There's other stuff that I've been going. I don't know. I've been I've been really excited. What hey, did you hear about the game of the year shit though? No, they we're talking about Red Dead already. No, they talk they for I can't remember who got it, but they awarded Fortnite uh, the game of the year edition over Red Dead and everything else. And I'm just like, vomits in mind. Now don't get me wrong, the Save the World is actually a pretty decent game. Like I've seen them play it, but I would still not put it on nearly the level of like God of War or fucking Red Dead. Oh, I thought God of War should have probably got yeah. I think it probably like as far as story and because that's now, the thing. Spider Man was great and it had decent I still gameplay. Haven't finished. I haven't even played it. Or oh, I played a little bit, but I've like literally played. It's good. They have, they have DLC too, so that's interesting. But <coughs> between all of them, and I've played all of them, the God of War probably has the best balance between gameplay and story. story. Yeah, yeah, which it usually has a great gameplay and story. And there's a, they've already set, looks like they set themselves up for more, mm-hmm. more Wars. different pantheons. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's that was the real setup for it. And I, I like it. I don't see any reason for them not do it. I mean, every time they do a new God of War, they add in new interesting mechanics that I enjoy. It's never just the same old weapons or the same old styles. Like just, okay, now you're here and you have the Nordic, or yeah. what did you get to use in this one? The o, the something force or the I forgot what the axe is called. I'm talking about the axe. Yeah, Jarbjorn, right? Oh, yeah, I think Jarbjorn. So. The one that you can throw and it comes mm-hmm. back, right? Because uh, my brother was doing the Fairy King fight and he subbed me in. And it's funny because I'm just good at gaming, so I have like timings, but I don't know how to like throw shit, so I'm basically just dodging everything and waiting. Just dodge, dodge, throw an axe, dodge, dodge, throw an axe. I'm like, what? How do I do the dodge axe back to me? Yeah, I was trying to do the... The angels and the angels ones will really test your skills. Yeah, they're like on some Dark Soul levels testing skills. Yeah, well, and that's what I liked is they had the different levels because he was running through on God of War or whatever, and at least they have that. That's why I like the different difficulty levels of games. Most a lot of games don't do it anymore, man. Like giving you different levels of like obscene difficulties. Yeah, no, I don't see that that much anymore. Cause it's it used... more about multiplayer. Mm-hmm. And don't get me wrong, well, which is so funny because they've eliminated single-screen multiplayer. Co-op multiplayer is basically abandoned. Yeah, yeah, it is. You, you need multiple systems to play. That's that's basically what they want now. And I, I know why they do it business-wise, but it's just like, to me, like if you're going to do that and then try to focus on multiplayer, you're kind of shooting your clientele in the foot. Save but, some time not to ma- have to make a single player mode. I and mean, a multiplayer mode. I guess so. so just but like, fuck it. We'll just put all our money into multiplayer. multiplayer and that's yeah. it. I mean, that's what Black Ops basically said. They said, fuck the yeah, story. Yeah, they didn't do that. Yeah, that's what I heard. They had no story. I mean, Michael's been enjoying Black Ops, supposedly. Yes. Yes, just, uh, yes do you I play, have. Do you play just for it, zombies it, and that's it? <laughs> Is that no, all I ever actually, did for Black I, Ops? I played, uh, <laughs> I've been playing Kill Confirmed, Team Deathmatch, oh, okay. Domination, and it's actually Those not are that fun. bad. Here's the thing. Though COD it's... is a good multiplayer game, but it's the thing being, like, none of those modes or styles are original to COD. Like, you can play those in a well, lot of other games, how can too. you make it original now? That's Battle not the point Royals being, though, is, like... So that can't... That's a bad, so exactly my point, though. Other games used to have to bring in originality in different things. For example, people talk about zombies, but... 
Horde mode originally being one of the constructs, at least in third-person shooters, of the Gears of War franchise. Yeah, it started there. Huh? And then everybody decides zombies, fucking levels, ultimate, le- you know, it spans out, but everybody has a thing. Uh, one of the best, another examples is Warframe's movement style, right? Destiny copped the shit out of Warframe's movement style. Yes, but Destiny still can't stand toe to toe if we're talking pure movement ability. No, but that's my point Warframe being that it didn't originate there, and that's what Warframe has. And that's my point being, Warframe has that over Destiny. Like Destiny can cop as many pieces from different games. And don't get me wrong, Destiny is a good game, and there are original aspects of Destiny that make it good. But the movement aspect. That's what makes Warframe still Warframe, you know what I mean? The ability to move through the map fluidly and fight, as well as all the other mods and stuff they've been adding in Arc Wings, etc. But you know my point being that Arc that's... Wing is trash. We don't even talk about Arc Wing. Ah, you still have to get it, bitch! Get that Arc Wing! Anyway. <laughs> the point being that that's what gives Warframe its niche, you know what I mean? That's its specialty, that's what makes it special and interesting and worthwhile to play over, say, any other game. Same thing that I would say for KF2 and its uh, shooting uh, mechanics. That's what makes me come back to KF2. Granted, I like the zombies and stuff, but the guns, the way the guns handle, the way the guns shoot, and the way the levels play, that's what makes that a fun shooter zombie game for me. If we were talking pure zombie horde run, I still say Left 4 Dead is way better because you get overrun more. And you just don't have the leveling benefits that you would have in killing floor where you are eventually able to one shot zombies with your uh, crossbow you will just never be able to one shot a tank in left for dead and so there, there are differences between games that they accentuate a niche that give them the flavor to stand out whereas i feel like call of duty for a while had been using zombies as their standout thing now don't get me wrong they didn't start zombies but they definitely made horde mode their own probably around the time of modern warfare when they started adding like the giant i don't know if you remember that like that you had the guy the like the giant that would run around and could help you kill stuff but you had to like feed him candy Ooh, i don't remember that yeah see he's he's post like modern War- he's either modern warfare or past but they put a lot of chips into zombies uh, yeah, the have. point being that they wanted to that to be their draw. And it was. Zombies did great, and Black Ops, all the way up to now, has been using it effectively. Even this Black Ops... I heard the new zombie mode is really fun. Oh, yeah. Well, they basically, in this one, they oh, decided yeah, to new, go... New zombie mode is a dick. <laughs> yeah. But that's the, my point being. They've ab- basically now, and I guess that's their, their niche, is they've abandoned their co-op, which is fine, because they never had a very good co-op mode anyway. Or not co-op, a uh, story. They never had a very good story mode anyway. Yeah, it was just a bunch of random... Missions and mob, fights in some... Uh, hodgepodge. It really was. It's like, alright, let's make a military story in Russia and America and figure it out. And they just have you play as five, di- four different men. Yeah, in their or lives. you're a double, double spy or some yeah, shit. I don't like this. That, that was basically the thing. So I don't blame them, but that's the thing. I want to see their more niche things because now they've gone to Blackout, which is the Battle Royale cop, which we all know is originally from H1Z. But, you know, they're never going to get that credit. So who cares? That's the thing. Everyone's bitching, you know, it's like PUBG wants to sue Fortnite even though they're oh, yeah, owned by the same... That. Yeah, even though they're owned by the same company. Oh, really? They are? Yes, they have the same parent company. How can you do that? because of licensing you can oh, hmm. trust me laws are stupid hmm. but the thing being neither of those lawsuits will work worth shit because as soon as it goes through h1z1 will sue the shit out of both companies using that case as president so i guarantee you it never goes anywhere but it's the it's the fiction of the fighting right the fiction that these games are separate these games aren't separate right these games are owned they're different games but they're owned by the same parent company who uses their marketing strategies mm-hmm. for one different they decided Fortnite was the one to put their chips behind because it's kid friendly, both visually and playstyle wise. I think, and yeah, that's how they're getting so many people. Yep. Oh yeah, that's remember how do you get it? Because there's more kids now currently than there are adults. That's just oh, yeah. stats. My that's son population. plays it. He likes to play it. Oh, said I play with the kids. I play it a kids little bit too. Every once I don't in care. A while. It's not that. F- I mean, here's the thing. It's not bad. It's yeah, not. It's not, bad. it's not 
the only thing that makes it special is the building. Yeah, that's the and only I thing suck at buildings, yeah. so I don't really and don't enjoy buildings, so I'm not very I think into that's, it. Like I said, that's what makes it different though from PUBG. Oh yeah, and... the building aspect is 100 percent what makes Fortnite different. Cause me and Michael have played PUBG, and we, we can both tell you the one big problem with PUBG is whoever sees who first wins. If you catch, if you see somebody running in the field. You're basically gonna get two, two or three shots. They're not gonna be able to shoot you. There's no way to find it's cover. Like Battlefield, same thing. If you're running across the field, true. You but don't Battlefield had like a lot of different you had yeah, vehicles and things. True. But it's basically that same thing. Like it's real. It's you realistic. Have if really, they have the high have ground, be really and, cautious about where you're running to. <laughs> right, because like you said, if they have the high ground and you have no cover, it's like a real fight. You're gonna lose. You have no cover. You're not gonna be able to hit them very well. It's just, it's it's very realistic in that way. And Fortnite brings the level of non-realism of, okay, I can build, I just build a cover wall. and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Real quick. Instant wall. <laughs> and it's not instant, but it might as well be instant. So it's one of those things. Uh, I will say one of the games I've been playing, I just picked up recently, and it's older, they've already released the second one, but I've seen it played and I've wanted to play it, but I only played it recently because uh, it was free on Xbox Live or whatever for the gold. Was it Battlefield 1? Uh, no, it was Overcooked. Overcooked. Yes, I must which have missed that it's one. a it's a camp. It's not a campaign. It's a co-op couch game. So you can't play it in, except for on one system in the original one. But it's basically like this cooking based game where oh. you run around ingredients and like try to put together orders. But what they've done is they add the increased difficulty of having interactive game maps, it's like a typical, not platformer I'd say, but like a Maze Runner kind of, where you have to like move from here to here with the ingredient, then suddenly, all right, the whole station changes and you have to run a different way, do something different. But it's just very good for, like, team play, interactive, and it's great for streaming. They've even licensed all free imaging and streaming services in the game. It says it's all free hmm. to be used on Twitch and everything because they want as much publicity for the game as possible. Granted, now they released the second one, which is capable of online co-op, but okay. it's the same thing. You know, Same they thing. add. They have things. Yeah, I've been. Uh, uh, I've been playing Super Mario Party. Oh yeah, how's that? I bought, I bought this bundle deal they were having with that and the Joy Cons. Nice. Um, it's fun. They have a lot of different modes to play. They have the original board game mode, and yeah. they have like this rafting mode. I've um, seen a couple. I mean, I watched some like Let's Play mode. Yeah, it was. It's pretty fun for me and my my son to play. Yeah, yeah really and that's it. the other thing being too is we gotta remember. Plus, I got it so I can get some of other controls now, because I'm gonna try to get a uh, Super Smash Bros. And that I, comes out yeah. in December. That one for sure I gotta get. Yeah, that one's gonna be. The, as everyone's like Super Smash Bros. Looking to steal game of the year is gonna have to be real quick to steal game of the year <laughs> with that. <laughs> with the amount of sales Red Dead currently has as well oh, as it's things. Doing good, yeah. And uh, the thing being, and that's where it's always one of my challenges too, is like for the gaming industry, is like, all right, they do game of the year. What makes game of the year? Is that play? Is that visuals? Is that sales reception? You know what I mean? Critically, I don't know what they, what's our standard? Just like nominations, I guess, right? Yeah, it's and that's and so that's where it's rough for me because so it's the paradigm of popularity, but we live, you know, popular opinion in science and stuff that doesn't make a difference. But when it's subjective content, like art or media, then popular opinion does merit the, you know what I mean? That's that's what people tend to forget. It's one of the one shitty things that we don't like, but it's the difference between something that's quantifiable and something that's subjective. Mm -hmm. If it's subjective, the only way that you can quantify it is with a static number, like how many people like it or how much money it made. You know what I mean? Otherwise, it's non-quantifiable. You know, you can't, you can't base opinions. You know, even the even the the critics' opinions. You know what I mean? They can break it down according to art or pr past game stuff. But at the end of the day, is that the, what makes you know what I mean? The best game, mm -hmm. especially for like, and then the purpose, right? What's the purpose? Are we talking longevity, right? Mem like accuracy sales are you just trying to sell stuff or are you trying to like make a legacy are you trying to like change something or make a difference like what's the point i don't know it's rough it's a rough quantification to decide what game gets to be the game of the year personally i'm i'm leaning towards god of war with the second place on red dead 
I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Super Smash Bros. all the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's first, second, and third place, sir. Just gonna tell you. Uh, they they should just try for I'm, 2019. I'm gonna say of hashtag best of game. game of the year. Yeah, hashtag game of the year that we should never play. Ten years in a row. <laughs> Don't even well, think it's been out that I'm, long. I'm just super excited for next year. Next year's gonna bring a lot of cool stuff. There's too, a so lot like, coming. Yeah. King Kingdom Hearts is what's gonna start me off. That's and that's my big thing is waiting for is Kingdom Hearts because I have to go buy that uh, complete trilogy here because. Uh, there's a lot of them, the uh, thing is, I'm afraid if I do, then I'm gonna go try to play the complete trilogy. <laughs> you know there's what I'm a lot of the gameplay. Yes, that's for sure. I remember watching my friend finish the original Kingdom Hearts 200. percent Jesus, I'm not doing 100, percent but I'm. I know, I'm a, just and that's my problem story. is I'm a gamer like to the I'll core. I'll do that, on that, but like uh, there's a point where I'm like, okay, I put weird. too much damn time into this. No, I'm over I can't. It. I Doom, can't. Done. I have Turn to. Just, I basically decide or don't decide to do it. So, like, Spider-Man, I did 100%. There's, like I said, there's only a few games. Like I said, I tried to that one's easy God of to War. Be and then, like, there's a, like there's only a certain much that I can take where I'm like, okay, I've just slowly exhausted all my time into this, and I really yeah. need to just get off this. I mean, then... I've done it. There's one that I'm still working on finishing that one. But granted, that one wasn't 100%ing. I was just doing it on the hardest difficulty. Because that one was a challenge. Run. I think but... I almost 100%ed the Arkham, the, the last Knights. Arkham one they Knights. did. I think I was missing like two riddles because I couldn't fucking figure out. How to I get forgot them. I had this up here. But yeah, I try not to do hundred percent because it takes over your life. Oh man, 100%. it's the, like I said, it's the gamer we'll thing. You. <laughs> so you just gotta have that gamer mentality that never give up. You just gotta be ready to sacrifice your life, your meaningless, worthless life again, <laughs> again, and again, and again, <laughs> just to get that digital feeling, the digital <laughs> pride, pride. No, the score. <sighs> Well, is the whole thing behind achievements and stuff is like achievements really don't mean shit. <laughs> they mean it's nothing. Like, because you can get the same gamer score from Peggle that you can get from Arkham. <laughs> you know what I mean? So the same thousand, but I, I, I guarantee. I think the only game I ever a hundred percent achieved was uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted, <laughs> yeah. and that was because they had all the bosses set up as, as the all achievements. The achievements. Yeah, it was, was like, like literally if you finish the game, you hundred percented it. <laughs> So I think that's the only game. I think I they had one other achievement where it was like get online or play multi or some shit, but it was literally nothing for that Need for Speed. You just had to fucking play the game. And I think it was only like fifteen achievements, and I was like, "That's it. You're cool. You did it. Yep, you're, you're done." Set. Oh man, that's great. Huh, speaking of things coming up, Aquaman's supposed to drop soon. I don't even know what day. Still not I'm not. Yeah, Seriously? I'm not even. Yeah, I don't even know the exact day. Oh, because you're not that. Yeah, because I don't care. Yeah, see, that's how. And I I'm am. not even. I don't even think it'll be bad. I just don't care. Care. You know, it's something it about Infinity War this year, dude. I think set it up because, like, granted, I liked Ant Man and the Wasp, but it was the same feeling of like, I just don't care what happens here. <laughs> I'm waiting for the next Infinity War, and the I have trailers to. trailer's dropping before Soon, the end of yeah. this year, they said. Here's the thing, and I want to know, because they have Captain Marvel coming out, what, February? Yeah, February. Yeah. I believe so. Like I said, and I don't even care about that, and I still at least I still remember that. I care about I that just, one. Only because of the scrolls. Like, I've lost all hope after screen footage of enjoying Brie Larson's Mar Captain Marvel, which is actually probably good, because I don't like... Captain Marvel in the comics either. I, I was hate her, her so new mini much. Her new mini one's it. a little better. I liked it. But in it kind of up to the set new... it up that now she's no longer a dick. No, well she doesn't actually have uh, her powers weren't transferred to her. She actually was born a Kree. Oh, okay. Kree. oh yeah, they rechanged her origin. Mm -hmm. Her yeah. origin starts. So, yeah. Which is it? It's interesting. My thing about her has always not not been about her powers, but about her personality. Like I hate like half of her present like. There's like some comics where she's one. done. I gotta check Maybe her on her new series. I only got that. past the first one where she goes to like oh, visit okay. her hometown. Her mom and all yeah, that. and like yeah. she's like, it's been so long since you were home or whatever. And it's like, oh, I w that's because whenever I come, you're like, this. oh, I think. <laughs> Is that my nephew trying to challenge say... for you? Yeah, probably. I don't know. He's got three uncles around here right now. So. But um, oh, yep, here he comes. Here he's he looking comes. for you. <laughs> now he went back down. Okay. All right. Well, um, he's, he's afraid of yeah, you have to check out the mini series. It was. Good. I'll check it out. I, I, it started good, but I needed to wait for it. I'm a little behind too. I'm like two weeks behind right now on comics, yes, which so is I, rare so for I. me. 
I'm, I, I've, only, I've only read I'm the most important on ones of this week, which was Avengers. I, I'm people. not even the main stuff. I've oh, just had. I'm two weeks. Is gonna be one I'm of the so new excited. Well, I've I've kind of gotten the gist too because people ruin it and like you know oh, the on threads. And yeah. yeah. But I've been staying away from most things. Which speaking of, have you been keeping up with the Myrtle, Immortal Hulk? Uh-huh, I read the last one too. Where he's in the jars. <laughs> yeah, I, it's kind of it's kind of funny because. It get it kind of set off to him have a new power, I guess, where he could I still mean, be alive even though the he's thing is cut in pieces. It is, but there's precedent for that in prior Hulk comics. He's had his cut head cut off before, and been able to function. Remember the Secret Wars, uh, spin for but that. I, but like, I guess my thing is like just leaving his head cut off, like for that. Time I mean, and yeah, just but still it's... being able to like talk and function and. I mean that's true, but is that any different than you know? And then them cutting the... his heart open to see. I don't know. That was cool, I guess. But I maybe I just never read those issues. Uh, the thing is, and... it's not like it's not like specifically super on that. But there's precedent for him having similar events before, having being surviving with being dismembered or decapitated. Now, being able to speak and talk is the new uh, and move during that is a new development, yeah. and then the speed of his recovery. Uh, you know the amalgam the morphine. Kinda, yeah, yeah, that, that was, was pretty. And that's a little hyper realistic. But if you look through the lore, it's stated on several occasions that his regeneration factor is higher than Wolverine's. That he's nigh unkillable. That yeah, he's very, very like. The thing now is they're pulling him away from science and towards like that mystical because they even talked about it in the thing like why does it do it like this why regeneration like this instead of full regeneration why not a bunch of little hulks or one big hulk or a ton yeah, of they hulk, did you know? say that yeah, yeah and so that. they're they're i think the other thing being is they are evolving the hulk's power here and they kind of talked about that that they're doing like this horror immortal hulk i've discovered mm -hmm. that the hulk can't die the the one thing that's getting and me a little and, bit the Hulk uh, is the night is his time right and that's what's getting me a bit so I like that but then what about all of the other times we've seen the Hulk in action in the day and you know what you know I guess what they're trying to say more is that the nighttime he's even more I, and that's what stronger. I yeah and I get that but it's they've got to put him more in the sunlight for me to get that feel you know what yeah. I mean they show him so much now at night that I almost feel like he can't become the Hulk <laughs> unless <laughs> he's died time. or yeah. Which, and don't get me wrong, if it's an evolution or a change, because they're doing that same thing with, like, Wolverine's Claws, which I'm not caught up on yet either, oh, where they're supposed to be multiple. Too, and I think that's temporary. I don't think that's a permanent. What did they do? There was a reason why he had that now. They kind of explained it. They were saying some stuff about it. I have to catch up on a lot of that. Well, he's the he has the Phoenix now. Well, you have to. You'll yeah, have to I watch did see the, the Phoenix Force and the and the Thor stuff. Well, no, now he has it even sooner than that. Oh, You're well, that's because read the Seven Thunder issue of Avengers. They, there's a lot of shit they're setting up in there. They're doing a lot. And I that's didn't. Just I knew they Aaron's were going writing it. Yeah, too, but I knew they were gonna do the Phoenix Old Man Logan stuff. They've already previewed that and stuff. And then now Thor. he's even getting the gauntlet. I did see that too. I saw some. So uh, I'm like, spoilers. how the hell are you gonna set him up for all this? He's gonna be the phoenix. Plus he has the gauntlet. Plus he. I mean, they did kill him for a while. Just and literally he was... got resurrected. Like, how the fuck does he? <laughs> like, how the? Okay, so this is where I'm confused <laughs> as fuck right here. Okay. It's because they're putting all their chips back into Logan since. Because remember, Wolverine, much as even Spider-Man is the poster boy for Marvel, Wolverine has numbers. Yeah, he does. He, I think his numbers are probably up there with almost anybody as far as number of comics made. The only one who probably has a chance is Spider-Man and Batman. Those two guys have probably a similar number of comics made about them, spin-offs, chapters, because Wolverine has been in basically every Marvel series since the 1980s. Well, this, like I said, this is just what throws me off. Is like they they're doing the return of Wolverine. So like he just woke up, right, and he's very confused. He's, he see, like, yeah, he lost doesn't know who memory. he is. Yeah. But then, okay, if you read the 700th issue of Avengers. Wolverine's in there as well, but he's in the world with Loki talking to the Celestials, and he's even, the Wolverine's even, like, ordering the Celestials around, like, he has, like, a connection with them already. Well, wait, wasn't that 700 Avengers in a different universe, though? Remember, he... No, this is all the same, uh, Prime Universe. Okay. So that's I'll I'm have not to confused. catch up and like, see. That, watch, you'll read it, and you'll be like, well, hold on, like, how did he... It might be in some side stories, too, because I do read all, all of the Wolverine stuff. I guess stories. I'll have to just wait to read The Return of Wolverine to see I've been waiting, ends. but it's really not going anywhere so far. It's like two or three issues in, and it's not doing it's two, shit. two, only two, and then... Yeah. 
The second issue, I think, what did they explain? They, they didn't really explain uh, shit, man. They just, they, it's so full of mystery and bullcrap of like, all right, that's there's what I'm just saying. I'm just people. confused on like, where yeah. the, where does he finally regain his right? Memory where well, and is that, that stuff is that well, well that stuff is supposed to be from before because the if you remember they have the one in the Avengers where it's like Wolverine's been a, awake and he's been doing bad things or something. It's like yeah, that's the one they're doing. Yeah, with that yeah. one, the Return of Wolverine. And that's the one where he has well, the claws. That one, that yeah, but that was in another comic, though, before The Return of Wolverine, where they mention all oh. the stuff of him moving around. And you also got to remember that he remember he was at a psych, uh, Colossus and Kitty's wedding. So he was around as soon as that. Yeah, see, and then that's what's still confusing me the fuck out, because, like, if so he's I, around for that... Then why does he like now and now when you're reading Return of Wolverine, why is he like I I forgot my memory, I have no clue uh, about who I well, am. Well, we don't know or... when Return of Wolverine is occurring. That's not for one thing. True. Cause, and I, I think was a assuming lot of that, that it was it was occurring time, right, right after when they found out that his body was gone. See, and I just and I don't know because one we don't know how long it is between his body being found and being taken, and then we don't know. Honestly, the timelines are really fuzzy, even on them finding out when he was taken. <laughs> you, you see it's, what I'm it's saying? It's really fucked up. Like it's I'm endless. trying to figure it. I'm all trying to like really. Yeah, piece I it only together. know that the the wedding comes after they know that he's not there anymore, and that I, he's there for the wedding. Uh huh. Because I remember seeing him in a panel where he's just like, "Good on you, kids." I do remember shit. that too. So they're all over the place with the Wolverine stuff right now. That's for sure. And I do want them to figure out. Hey, Hunter, thanks for joining. Just didn't see you there, but it's. It's rough because I don't know. Like, I'm hoping it's one of those beautiful clusterfucks. You know what I mean? Like, at the end, everything seems to kinda come together. Kind of fits together. I yeah, kind of so. like a Donny really Cates so. thing where you're like, because that's how I feel Donny Cates is. You start off on the story where you're just like, how could this have possibly be happening? And then it's like the rest of the story is figuring out what's going on. And you're just like slowly moving yeah. into like well, acceptance. I guess we'll just have to see yeah, until that's done. Because it's only yep. supposed to be five Five issues, issues I think. Yeah, one. I really hope it's not that much. And, and then, then it's tied in with everything else. Plus we have Infinity Wars going still. So that's great. Yeah, there's... Which did the, that whole mix up. You And I'm sure I'm a week behind now on that one. But I, maybe that was the one I caught up on. Because Loki has them all now, right? Yeah, but then he goes to the Celestials. There's the origin. yeah, the, they're doing the, the origin story of how the the, the world universe. Well, no, how the go. the stones got made. Oh, these ones are in general. Well, that's the thing too, is because this is a new universe with new yeah, so stones and yeah, so. it's really loose. This whole thing is real loose, and I enjoy the recreating and structuring of the universe set again. But like, especially after you know we had Secret Wars and the Marvel thing, we've been needing this restructuring of the universe. And then we did the whole Logos thing with Ultimates 2, which just feels like forever since they've done that, but it's been like a year maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's a lot going on. And then did you see, did you read the new Century series? That was a mini series, huh? They finished it. Yep. Yeah, I actually enjoyed that. That was cool how I, they did that. How I they, thought it was cool. It actually how they is. Just, how they, he embraced it. Like it's Jeff funny because my. Jeff Lemire's always been my favorite. Yeah, he writer, does. He does really good. I was my excited. only. Complaint is the color, the design of the you new like century. The I don't like the red. The red and the black I don't, don't like work. The red. I don't like it. I really like the original design of the century. What I would have liked to see was like golden black, like a real like like. I would have even been fine with the original century suit and then like tendrils or something yeah. shooting, because for me the redness is like out of nowhere. Besides that though, everything about the story I really like. One, uh, I had a very similar. I was I've been working on like a fanfic of a similar nature where it was like a continuation of the century story following uh his fight with thor in uh x-force you know the one where he's like death seat century oh yeah and so following that one my thing was similar where they like and i like the jeff lemire had the same idea like all right you have two of the most powerful forces in the universe who are before constantly at odds with each other you know what i mean now together, how much more powerful would a would someone who's no longer warring with himself be? You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Some like theoretically, the century was already nine multiversal in power. He was punching celestials and shit. You know what I mean? Nobody does that. Like nobody. <laughs> like Galactus does that shit. That's who does that. So yeah, we'll have to see where he's gonna play his. I, part and that's my next. big thing now is that's the Where's only he difference. Be next? Right, what does he do now? Like my the my idea was to set him up as a multiversal entity. 
where he's like has some cosmic reason for being mm -hmm. instead of random because otherwise he's just random chaos on a super powerful scale of the century you know what i mean can do anything basically fuck anybody up no problems i mean we all know about the bullshit levels of up and down that century hits but it's just one of those things where i'm like what next like everything mm -hmm. in the marvel universe is up for grabs you got the ghost rider stuff that's kind of like what's going on after i don't know well, they, they're trying to do some more with Robbie Reyes, yeah. With I know. Story now, and they're yeah. trying to figure out, like... What's going with him. With, yeah, because his, 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 they just mentioned in the Seventh Thunder issue, too, that you're kind of a different ghostwriter because They've you didn't been... make a deal with the devil. You were imbued with this power from a, a soul. I forgot what the... It's his uncle's soul. There's a whole thing behind it, but, yeah, he's not a typical ghostwriter and... Or probably, yeah, it's weird. They've never really explained that very well, and it's always it not. Like they're trying to kind of. Put I hope they do. The it. thing is, they've been on that track since prior to Secret Wars. Like that, even most of Secret Wars was about him not being a spirit of Zarathos, so he couldn't be controlled. But they don't. One, they don't go into the details of how he can still be so powerful, right? Ghost Rider is like one of the most powerful beings in the Marvel mm -hmm. universe, not multiverse, but universe. Like he stands toe to toe with the Hulk. Basically anyone he needs to. And so how does a one random guy's soul equal out to that? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm still a little stuck on that. I like Robbie Reyes as the Ghost Rider. I want to see more. Because he does a lot of things too that like the other Ghost Riders didn't. He had this like, well, like full integration he, with his car. Well, he controlled the Celestio. A dead Celestio. Yeah, that was, that was interesting. I thought that was a nice loose play on the power you know what i mean where it's like this is just a giant machine that's just a car right yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. if it works on a horse you can dodge a wrench you can dodge a ball you know what i mean it's like that and i'm okay with those you know it wasn't like so out of like oh i'm just gonna control a celestial no it's like dead celestial's armor check okay that's just within the realm of believable to the narrative yeah and that's the other thing like i said people like i said it's not fantasy it's a narrative you've constructed a universe or a world on these base set of rules you know what i mean sometimes based on ours sometimes others but either way there are rules that you have based in this universe that you're not just allowed to break without good reason mm -hmm. and you can be that reason could be anything even magic but it has to have an you know it has to have an explanation or else it's just lazy writing. It's a bad story. Granted, lazy writing can also be justifying reasons, but that's different stuff. I don't know. Well, so, uh, yeah, I've been like I've been trying to catch up with the comics now and then. Yeah, oh, I should pro I'll probably end up taking the rest of the day to do that because I'm, I'm so behind. Too. I'm, I'm so behind too. on so much. At least read like I, a good twenty. And I want to get farther on that one. I started checked out that one you told me about. Uh, it? What is it? Descent into Hell or? Uh, Oh, we walk hell? through hell. Walk through hell. It was good. It was good. It has did you read nice the first issue? I read the first five. How oh, you it did? On? You know who wrote this? Who's writing the series? Right? Was it a Garth Ennis yeah. or someone? Yeah, I enjoy Garth. I he was... has he has classic horror writing down. Very good. I will say, I was like trapped in for the first three, and then like the second. The after that, I had two where I'm just kind of like we're kind of meandering along on that point that we're in hell. Uh huh. But you've kind of already, it was already established, you know, like two things ago. So I'm just like, all right, move through the story. But I think it's just because I'm uh, impatient for the next one. Yeah. Mm. So I'm just like, I just want to see where it's going. You know what I mean? I was like, keep the story yeah, rolling because uh... now we're in hell. You know what I mean? They, they, you figured it out that you're whatever. Still need to read two because I, I barely just got uh, two from eBay. So I'm you definitely got to check them. Three yeah, is probably one of I my... I got three, four, and three, five. So I'm three is probably my favorite. Next. Four and five were a little rough, but one to three, because I can't remember. One is where they... F at the end of one is not where they find what's-his-name, right? That's at the end of two, probably. <laughs> Number one is just when they finally go into the... Yeah, and so you... That, and that's and a good that's one. And the guy knows. He's like, oh, shit, they shouldn't go in there. That's hell. And yeah, like, right when the other guys kill each other. Yeah. Like, that's crazy to me. Like That was good, but it actually gets in. better. The second and the third chapter are probably even better than the first. And then four and five, I'm just waiting on more stuff okay. to to develop, I think. Because it's more of a... St those two are more story and less impact, I guess. Check out this one that's coming out this Wednesday. It's called Middle West. I think I've heard of it. Yeah, just barely going to be the first issue on Wednesday. You yeah. might enjoy it.
Honestly, looks pretty good. It like, looks so the idea of it is pretty good. Nice. I'm still um, I'm still uh what's it? I'm a couple chapters behind on Seven to Eternity. I'm only just one chapter behind. I so that one I kind of feel like I have to reread it just because it's just so complex. It it really is like deep. Like cuz I feel like I the other thing is after the break I feel like the last couple chapters before the break were not like as impactful, so they're a little hazy in my mind. And then when you come back a lot of stuff just pops off right away. You know what I mean? It's like boom, mosaics, boom, back at the thing and like, "Oh, where was I?" <laughs> like last time I remember what's her face was getting killed in the snare you know what i mean i'm just like damn but yeah, now there's so there's a lot going have to catch that up on and then what else have you been checking out any new anime on uh, like country roll and stuff i just no i don't watch country roll i just oh, have animation but damn you should uh, definitely check country roll even first for the free ones because yeah. it's a week late but well um i did finish seven deadly sins oh that's good How'd you like the, wa- the <laughs> shit out of that one. Oh yeah second season yep i liked it I, I've always liked it, even They're though good. it has that fan. Uh, what's the the word fanfic? Where they like, oh. where they like appease to like. Oh, they the fan the service. Bo- yeah, fan service. They have fan service for sure. I mean, they do, but it's, it's not like, like some art. Yeah, it's, it's not, not like so, so excessive. Fairy Tale does the same thing. They do. Like, the thing is, they're very I, pointed I anno- about it. They're like, annoyed. this is fan service. And yeah. this is story. <laughs> like, they do that. Yeah, They're not know, like... Just to me, like, at the point, I get annoyed to be, I'm like, bro, I just want fucking story. I don't care about these big titty bitches. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> these big titty bitches. They're everywhere now. <laughs> no, I understand. And it's ev- it's like every character, too. There's, like, no small titty bitches. It's like, what's her name is except for... No, even she. There's just, It's just the style. It's just it's the all style. big titty. It is. But that's just the way it is. And I mean... I don't the, care. It doesn't bother me. Like I said, it's one like, of those you things... you can have it there, but like... It's not the it's, focus it's is the, the point thing. It's like when you, fla- you flaunt it out and like you're showing it off and you're like, ooh, with the stars around and like... Okay, bro. I know she has big titties. I don't I just, care if you have to flash them in front of me. I can see them already. They're everywhere. They take up half her fucking character model. <laughs> like, no, but I don't know. I think that they do it, but it, luckily it's not as bad as it is in some. Yeah, there's some that are really And I bad. feel like they're pointed about it. Like, whenever it's always Meliodas and fucking Liz. That one was really bad with fan service. But, like, t- I guess to me, it doesn't bother me too much because it's, like, it's his character. Right. You know? That's not, like pandering that's him that's yeah. like his, who his lecherous character is it's the same as roshi like roshi doesn't bother me when roshi's being roshi <laughs> right he's like eh, <laughs> shut up roshi just go back to the story come on or when they try to make roshi not to a perv anymore and he they're like uh we're gonna train roshi uh, roshi to not like girls anymore did yeah, you see that, that, was, that episode yeah i did that was funny. and it actually worked I'm, I'm curious if they're going to keep that. Now. I don't know. I don't think they will. I think it's got to... He's got to be the lecherous old man character. It's a Japanese I think, anime. I don't know. Maybe Akira is kind of bored of that character. I mean, but then what he, is he going to do with him? I don't you know. You got to make him more make interesting. Him the big buff Roshi again. I'm all right with that if they do that then. But <laughs> they got to do something is the thing. You can't just take away his character personality traits and then not give him new ones. Yeah. You know? Or at least develop him into some... It's like Doom, right? Like, I love Doom's character until now they're trying to make him switch back to woe is me doom after we got jumped again or whatever but like when they reformed doom into the uh infamous iron man that i thought that was one of the best character developments in the history of character developments because it just made sense and it put the character in a place where you could write him differently Mm -hmm. and evolve him you know what i mean he didn't have to be the same because doom's basically a fucking uh caricature you know what i mean of a mad scientist it's literally what doom is you know I will save the world. Blah, ha, 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 ha. And rule it. <laughs> it's like, it's like, I feel like that's Doom in a nutshell. But no, they're, they've been doing pretty good. Um, let's see, what else did we have to talk about? I mean, Aquaman, Game of the Year, Detective Pikachu. Uh, we're about it at our hour. What other movies piece. are you excited for next year? Uh, Happy Death Day to You looks pretty good. I don't know if you've seen the commercials yet, but mm-hmm. the... Uh, Oh, that, that reminds me of a horror movie you just brought up. You have to watch The House on Haunted. Or the yeah, ha- the, the one Haunted on Netflix. Yeah. Watch it. That's what my father said. He said it's really it. good. Watch it. I, it's not even like... There was like if good, there was some good horror scenes. There's one that really did get me. Like, I, 
It was perfect. Like the perfect fucking jump scare. I've never been jump scared before in my life like that. <laughs> and it got me so good. I'm like, damn, I've never been jump scared like that. You guys got... Because it was just so unexpected. The thing the is, that that's, that's the thing about it is like people... And don't get me wrong. Jumps... That's the thing. Horror... Jump scare is a part of horror. That's a part of classic horror core. The problem is when people abuse it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And They didn't but, abuse it. And that's, me, and that's good. Did. But what I'm saying is a good jump scare... That's part of horror. That makes you on edge. It gives you that heart be- like, pumping yeah. feeling. It, and like you said, it has to be done right. It has to be unexpected. The timing has to be perfect, basically, if you want a good jump scare. I mean, it depends on the person. But if you do a good jump scare, the timing has to be on key. Mm-hmm. You have to wait for the exact moment where they're least likely to be if, you know, paying attention. And then, bam! Just like, so, I recommend watching that for sure. Because I'll definitely, it's very good. even Your if just to talk it, about it. Yeah, he told he knows, me it was he good. Knows a, yeah. He knows the He said it was real good. <laughs> I have the story series. is just so have you checked? good. And then like, what gets you towards the end, it had like, such a good like, ending. The ending was just perfect. Like, cause it, it kind of all just made sense. Like in the end, like everything kind of just I like that. Kind of like Saw and you're like, the original Saw. Yeah, kind of like that. And then, then you're like, well, oh fuck! I didn't. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Right. And you're like, oh okay. shit! Then they kind of like bringing it back to you. You're like, it was always this. It was always it was like, like, what? You're like, <laughs> that's great. I love those because for me, those are perfect for mystery. Yeah. When you have a mystery horror, which it sounds like ha- ha- the Hounding on Hill of Hill House. Yeah, or? the Haunting on Hill House. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like what it is to me because it doesn't. It hasn't sounded like it's a gore fest. No. It hasn't sounded it's like, like it's a. All. Even a uh, supernatural. It's, it's really just a good horror classic. story, like and just a story. Know, good that's horror good story. because you don't get those too often. Uh, just a good classic horror. Even story. Even my mom, who doesn't like horror, I made her watch it with me because I didn't want to watch it alone. I was like, I don't really want to watch oh, this thing by myself. I want to watch it to somebody else. What's and I she liked it. Watch. She's like, I. She's like, that wasn't really scary. It was just a really. She's like more interested in like. The family, like what the mm-hmm. hell's going on with them, and why they're all fucked up, and why they're right. All what's crazy going right? And... What's going on in the story? And I think that a lot of, like I said, any great pick a great movie from any genre. It has those kinds of details. You know, what I mean? it has a story that entrances you. It's not just about being full of action the or others? comedy or. You ever seen the others? Uh, That's is... the one where they they like hear shit right through the whole movie. They think they're being haunted and everything the whole the whole thing the whole time, but then it actually ends up being that they were dead the whole time and that they were actually the ghosts haunting. No, you know, I don't think people. I've. Seen oh, it. that was that's a good movie too, bro. Like, I have to check. There's a couple different ones. I mean, that's kind of <sighs> along the lines of the Sixth Sense thing, but it's a little different. Yeah, like that. Uh, but that's a good story. I I do like those those movies too. Like any movie, I feel like that has that come together ending. Mm-hmm. It just, it does. What's it? Uh, Crash was a good one. Oh, yeah. Remember yeah, where yeah, it just yeah. all kind of fucking yeah. melds together. Uh, pay it forward. I mean, there's the, any genre you can pick one and there's going to be a comes together at the end story. And those always do great. Those are always yeah. awesome movies. So I would recommend, yeah, for sure, starting on that first episode tonight. I'll and... definitely I'll definitely get to it because I have a couple series I need to get through. There's a couple that I'm just, I just, just Sabrina, shy of. Finished. So I'm on Sabrina episode My parents four. saw They said that it started out kind of juicy and then it got darker. Oh, because it was supposed to be based off the darker comic. Yeah, it, I think it is. And I already kind of came in expecting that, so I wasn't very like, oh, whoa. Like, this right, is and, the, and so for them, and for me, I kind of was when I came in and saw it, but then they're like, well, I, you know, this. And I'm like, well, I mean, it's a witch. I mean, I always thought the original Sabrina the Teenage Witch was kind of like horror, and it was. It was very comedy. And yeah, if you read the, her comic, though, uh, have, it starts off like, wow, this is... I'm sure it's like the dark, that yeah, you that you know, know on TV. Yeah. And I mean, a lot of characters are like that, let's be honest. A lot of characters are not the same translation that we get to the so, TV screen. I have to finish watching that as well, because it's, it's good. I like it. I I'll enjoy it. it did you it check out... Uh, I'm sure you haven't checked out Iron Fist, but did you check out uh, Daredevil? No, I still haven't checked out Daredevil. All right, so Daredevil. what I will say, really good. Honestly, great I mean, yeah, pacing and stuff. Things. I don't think it's as good as a lot of people are making it out to be. Oh, okay. I don't even think it's as good as the first season of Daredevil. But yeah. it is still good and still worth watching and still probably better than most of the other Netflix series. Okay. Uh, sure. from I heard Marvel. they're pulling a lot of the... Dude, Luke Cage the and Daredevil and then... The... Oh, they're pulling Disney stuff. It's not just Marvel. Anything Disney f- after 2019, they... <clears> uh, going the to contract, their service. Yep, the contract ends, so they're so going... So I will have to buy their services. I'm just, I'm just refusing. Bitches. I cannot... 
I'm not well, buying gonna ten. To. You're gonna have to because ah. that's the only way you're gonna watch the Mandalorian TV show. Nah, I, shit, I still watch Titans and I don't have the DC streaming service. Damn, <laughs> I don't give a shit. Uh, to be fair, uh, I wouldn't have paid for the DC streaming service I've anyway. Buying, I've been paying for that too as well, and I have only watched the first episode. The thing about it. it, all right, so the streaming and service... And that one was... What did you think of that, actually, tell you the first episode? It was good. I was not expecting it to be so adult. Like, it was super adult. I like, knew it was gonna... It's, come on, man. Robin was snapping necks in the first trailer. I don't remember him snapping necks, really. No, in the first trailer. Well, not in the first that. episode. I thought and I they seen might have taken whooping ass, and then... Oh, yeah. Like, you got it. But then when I watched the other fight scene again, I was like... Oh wow, he's really killing. Yeah, he's fucking he's like... stomping on people and maybe not killing, them, but he's paralyzing people. Fucking, him. I know he shoots somebody and or then something. That lady gets shot in the head. I'm like, oh okay. Mm. And to be fair, and then the uh, original Titans... Starfire is a hooker, like we always knew she was. Fucking like she knew said. it. Fucking lying motherfuckers. And she's a hooker, you assholes. All right, I'm gonna go smash everybody on DC Universe because everyone's like Starfire is the best, and I made she probably still is the best part of the show. I liked her a lot, but I, and I I told him I was like, come on. Hooker outfit. She's a hooker. That's what she was, yeah. And when they came out to be, she was a hooker. We still don't really know too much, I heard. heard. Baxter, and it's supposed to be the revealing of a thing. I mean, I'm only on episode, like, two or three. Because I I said it was better than I... But but only because DC sets me up for disappointment, it was better than I thought. I wasn't impressed. The only thing that's cool is that they're sticking to the comic book originalness of... They were. They were quite adult in the comics like they've handled serious things they weren't the kid titans they were the teen titans that it was about not being sidekicks anymore mm-hmm. and also the original thing of raven getting them all together to fight trigon end of the world stuff uh judas contract you know but it wasn't like this and the characters i'm gonna have to do a lot more research onto their original bearings and then watch the series again to be really judging. They introduced Doom Patrol, I heard, on there. The only good thing about it I've heard is Doom Patrol and the fact Doom Patrol is getting a series. Yeah, yeah. And Brandon, uh, Brandon Frazier. Frazier is going to be... To be fair, like I said, I've heard great things I'm about Doom Patrol. Him. My only problem is I don't think Doom Patrol is a commercially successful But they're, team. they're I think they're going to try to do it with this I know. show. I, I, with, the, with the work they put into, like, the... Uh, Brandon Frazier's character already. Oh, yeah, they have a ton. My fear is that they're, as a concept, are going to be a difficult... Mm. Because they're, one, the Doom Patrol is great, but they're about being misfits and outcasts and basically freaks. That's the whole mantra of Doom Patrol. Which, don't get me wrong, I appreciate, and you know, it's been a comic book staple for a long time, does not mean that it's a mainstream title Mm. staple. A lot of things like that, for example, R.G. Berger, um, you know, things where they're like, classically not popular or not you know those get rough times because if people want to feel good not saying that they're better either way but people want to feel good they want the heroes to win and not have like these huge emotional depressing problems mm-hmm. a lot of the time which is why netflix series are a lot i feel more original on that where they're like it's less about all oh, my villain and it's more about like my personal like mm-hmm. demons and like problems no, and Netflix is doing good i like I, I think honestly yeah live tv is gonna be they're doing good like, uh well I'm, no i mean like cable tv will be i think oh the dead of the past yeah. yeah i mean because yes look at no. how many people are going to netflix to have them produce their shit oh them. yeah well the thing it's is the cost ridiculous the cost are, are, going are different the, the the host things are different my only thing is and why i don't think it will for to a certain extent is <sighs> One online streaming, like nowadays, media is everywhere. Mm-hmm. It's so tough to not see or find something somewhere that it's almost impossible. I almost get crazy, like s- surprised when something's not illegally up for download the next day because that's how fast our our stupid pirating culture is. Uh huh. And so I'm wait I'm waiting for the day. Like, all right, where it's when does it the tipping point cross where we're either gonna have to control people. I mean, obviously it doesn't, though, because, like, there's just more stuff coming out, and you can't get everything, and you can't watch everything, and so at the end of the day, it still just doesn't matter. I don't know. Because, like you said, with the cable TV, like, I, you know, I don't even watch cable TV personally anymore. I, the only thing I, 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 I barely even watch shows that we watch on there, like Riverdale. But, yeah, but even Shameless. then, I can find a lot of those online now through those companies' sites or something, you know, but streaming, but I can find most of that stuff on the ABC 
news you know feed as long as I have now granted I'm supposed to have a cable provider to type in the number or whatever but you can do that still through the online like tell the, the act of getting television itself through the cable provider I feel like is dying but I think the cable companies are are like you said going under for a different reason entirely being like the like you said the production of shows the production of how easy it is to go to Netflix and just say hey I want to make a show about this and Netflix isn't like well you have to have ratings or this or yeah, meet our standards they're just like, they're just well, like fuck it, let's do it yep we'll put it under the <laughs> r rating of violence and gore not for children and if somebody watches a new kid that's on them <laughs> like um but with that i think we're kind of getting towards the end of our time here is there any last minute things you have to say uh, not off the top of my head that i can think of uh but you know more power more damage more damn it that'd be about it uh, Baki. Oh, Netflix and the animes. Uh, one thing I want to mention, there's a lot of new animes coming oh, out. They said that they were, I think like last year, they were like, we're going to pump the shit out oh, of yeah. the anime on our But network. I mean, even just in general, anime everywhere has been crazy. Castlevania. Like, Castlevania, there's Castlevania. supposed to be a DMC. They said... Godzilla. The same guy said he'd be willing to work on a Bleach. Berserk. Uh, yeah, you got Bleach live action. Um, Seven Deadly Sins. Yep. And that's just Netflix. Like I said, the Crunchyroll stuff with Funimation's partnership has been insane. Oh, yeah, they finally ended it. They have now, but even without them, there's tons and tons of things. Uh, I just, to there's me, like, like, I guess the anime I, on Crunchyroll is, like, anime I wouldn't really see myself watching. Oh, I don't know. I I, all the is. new anime that are out are, like, the most popular ones that they host, so, like, I've watched them all. Like, I, mean, I just watched, like, Goblin Slayer. Yeah, see, yeah, I don't watch those. I just watched, like, uh, the most popular ones. I watched, like, Attack on Titan. Yeah. Hero, I see, I just watch the ones that I know they have good mangas and then, because uh, most of the mainstream ones they fuck up the anime anyway. Yu Yu Hakusho reruns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and see, I watch the you know not Americanized animes. <laughs> like I just watch all the stuff that's popular in Japan, like Slime Desu, Goblin Slayer, uh, not the Alicization stuff. That stuff's actually really not popular. Zombie Land Saga, yeah, the see, I Demon say, Lord. I don't think I see myself watching those shows. And then there's like there's a ton of them. Fairy Tale. There's, now Fairy that they tale. just came back, I just yeah. started watching season nine. Yeah, see, and those are all such the Americanized standard yeah, fucking same. Naruto shows. Yep. See, I watch those. That's yep. what I watch. Yep. <laughs> those are what I like to call plebeian am. No. <laughs> I watch some like wow. that are like wow. Those hey, are... look, you know the deal, Michael. If you don't watch the subs, I die. Watch, no. What else do I watch? I watch. Um, I, watch I mean. Gundam. I watch subs because English voice actors are fucking trash. Not if all. If I have to watch sub, I watch Un- sub. Unless I prefer unless subs if I uh, if I'm actually paying attention. I only watch English dub if Some I'm English like English dub is not too bad though. There's like five total English anime dubs that like I can Fairy Tale, I can't watch Fairy Tale now in uh, Japanese because like I'm I don't just know. so used to their voices. Yeah, I, they do all right, but they're not very like good. Like the best ones are probably My Hero Academia has a really good dub. Yeah. I can watch some of uh, That one day. I can do in English. Uh, Slime Dazabayo actually had a decent dub because they're doing the dub right away. The Attack only... on Titan I thought was pretty good too. They're not as They're bad. all right. Eren I... can get a little. That's my big problem is the main characters. The same reason the One Piece uh, English dub is trash is because the main character's voice just does not fit to the character and neither or the main cast voice don't fit to their characters. Um, which other ones are really good that I've seen lately? I mean, honestly, those are probably the only... I mean, Dragon Ball Z does it sometimes. Yeah, I've always liked Sean and Christopher. They're they're terrific. They are, but they, they stock some of their stuff for other shows that they don't... Full Metal Alchemist. There we go. That's another English dub I can handle. Brotherhood and the regular dub are okay. But, like, if some other ones are just so god-awful on Oh, dubs. no, I know what trying to mean, but, like, uh, those ones I don't watch. <laughs> and see that's the thing is like i just i eliminate the possibility of like being disappointed by watching them in japanese because i'm always not always always but about 80 percent of the time the japanese actors who do the voice i'm always like impressed with who they cast yeah no, that's good and even for the sub characters so like uh overlord my favorite actor voice actor for him isn't the main character it's kokaitis because his his voice in the japanese version don't get me wrong he's cool in the english i like him but and that's another one. Overlord has a good English dub. 
Although I still prefer the Japanese one just because of the, sometimes the level of pure emotion, I feel like, is just... I'm just lazy, bro, and I don't like reading <laughs> <laughs> I wish everyone could just admit that. It's like, it's like the English anime dub is good. You mean you're lazy and don't want to read. I'm just lazy, bro. I'm just, <laughs> That's I'm okay. Just fuck the reading. Yeah, I just want to watch the, the, the frames flash before me. <laughs> I just want to see the fancy anime. I don't uh, want to be reading and then be like, oh shit, what did he do just now? Hold on, wait, let me read it. You gotta, oh, no, he, you gotta learn to it. multitask, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, the, that's how we're gonna train America's youth to multitask now. You're gonna have to watch fucking Japanese sub animes. Oh, God. I mean, like, I, I do enjoy some good Japanese subs. The thing is, like I said, like, I, I don't actually always do like watch watching subs. Dragon Ball Z now in Japanese. The thing I like, is, the energy. I like uh, Goku's. Goku's uh, voice actor? Is, yeah. The, she's, she's cool. I yeah. didn't even know it was an old I had, ass lady until yeah, I seen a picture of her. It's so funny how they are, and there's differences like that all over. Like, it's funny too because a lot of them voice so like they'll voice different ones. So, uh, the one that gets me is the same person who voices Goku, voices Chef Komatsu from Tariko, who is this like <laughs> tiny little Shit. chef who's like no power, no f- at all, and it's just like Toriko. <laughs> I just like that voice for Goku. He just has like a such a like. Not a, <laughs> It's just like a, I don't know, like child, a like childish, I, feel like, I don't yeah. give a fuck kind of voice. He's just like, I'm whimsical. Yeah, I'm a little I'm whimsical person. But I do, I fight who I want and eat meat. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's literally, I eat meat. And, um, that's, and that's why, like, it's so, like, a similar actor, that one that gets me, like, as a very, like, on-point voice actor in Japanese is the voice actor for Luffy from One Piece. Okay, so you know, I've never watched One Piece because they've been. My, I was asking my friend because they they're starting to watch or they've been watching One Piece <laughs> for forever. And I'm like, well, when did it really start? He's like, 1998. I'm like, no <laughs> fucking way. This has been going on yeah. since 1998. Yeah, he goes, yeah. I'm like. Yeah, fuck that. I'm <laughs> what do you mean, Dragon Ball Z is like roughly the same? Yeah, from Dragon Ball. Do they? Ha- they don't have nearly that many episodes. They do well. though. Do, do they really? They have- re- when you count all of Dragon okay, Ball. Okay, Dragon everything. Ball Z is like three hundred and something episodes. And then Dragon Ball is another two. Yeah, but I never really watched Dragon. Ball. I but watched that's a little the point. Bit. It's still that same series. It yeah. goes from Dragon Ball all the way through Super, and if you count all those episodes, but isn't One Piece like it like eight hundred? Yeah, but see that's do, ridiculous. But if you do three hundred plus two hundred from the original Dragon Ball plus two hundred from Super, not including Is the two hundred now, no, yeah, it's, it's like, like one fifty. I thought it was like it's like one fifty okay. or one sixty. I'm rounding up a little, but if you roughly them out. They're almost, almost the exact... But lizard. One Piece is ridiculous. Right, but that's because re- One Piece goes through and does have filler, whereas yeah, Dragon Ball Z really doesn't have filler. any filler. Same with uh, Naruto. Naruto's not actually that long if you cut out five seasons of filler. Same thing for Bleach. Yep. That's why a lot of people didn't like Bleach after a while. Because oh, and many, the funny part is Bleach filler. has some of the best filler around. Their filler is actually decent. Like, most filler actually is adds ass. to the style. Yeah. Or, or adds to the story. Or the story. Uh, hey, most... Most filler is ass. I'm saying that with complete confidence. Like ninety yes, percent. Most filler is ass. The, o- the only I'll... the only filler that's good is gunpowder. Fairy tale. Fairy tale does a lot of bullshit filler. They got a decent amount. But some, some of that's of it's canon actually, though. Some of it's good though because it adds to the character. And yeah, like... and that and then a lot of it depends on that. Some of it's just pandering, but some of it adds and and even Dragon Ball Z. So like, Dragon Ball Super, the whole thing with Roshi, that's filler, but it's canon filler. Mm-hmm. Which we call gunpowder around here. No. <laughs> no, but and it is. It's like it exists in manga form. It exists in yeah the original creation style, but it has no merit at all to the story. It has it does not move it along or the characters even. Some that one with Roshi's does a little bit of character movement, but it's one of those things where like if you remove that entirely, you know what I mean? Just balled it up and trashed it. It wouldn't change anything resulting mm-hmm. later. You know what I mean? And that's what I say when I mean it doesn't matter, or it's like filler. It's just What's like. What's your favorite anime then out of all this? Out of all anime? Yeah, right now that you're watching. Oh, that I'm currently watching by far, Slime Bio or Baki. Slime has some of the best. Because that's what the they premise? do now. Just tell me the premise. Slime. Uh, is a guy dies is reincarnated as a slime yep, in I, a new world. Yep, I, yep. I already knew it. It's great. I already knew something Beautiful. about him gonna be slime and some. Well, I mean, it <laughs> says slime. What the fuck do you think? I was reincarnated as a slime. Dot type it was out. Maybe that's, it was about just, me being that's reincarnated. That's just as bad as the the butt the butt uh sport anime. Which one? You ever seen that one? No. 
Oh my god. I said that's oh, the badminton one. Oh the yes, badminton. Yes, yes, no, yes. they're nowhere even close. Don't even hit me with that bullshit. <laughs> Don't even try. <laughs> if they're shit? in the same vein, then so is Dragon Ball Z. Because <laughs> that's the exact same amount of relativity between the they're two. They're literally playing sumo wrestling, but with their asses and boobs. That's oh, exactly. the whole premise of the sport. Oh, you mean Zumo. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. The, that's the one where they're like... What do you mean? Yeah. Those are actual sumo fighting moves. And they're like actually using their asses to yes. like boom bong them. No, I, I just how... seen a video of somebody yes, in Yes, that's actual a sumo Wait. move too. But those they, are real. Huh? Okay, are you... Izzy, are you talking about Kaijo? That might be it. Is that it, might be what it's called. It, it, it's like a new show they just Kaijo came out with. Something like that. Is it yeah, Kaijo they're like they're Zumo? like sexy it's bikini heavily women. Yes. That's oh, okay. Then that's Kaijo. not Zumo. That's different. just watch it. Just watch a trailer, and you'll be like, "What the fuck is no, this?" But that's different. And like I said, that's entirely on a different. If that's the same as Slime Dot then Dragon Ball Z is the same as that anime. That's how similar they are. <laughs> you can't I've, just. I've actually watched all of Kaijo. So. <laughs> all right, you you tell me then how how the levels of similarity between the three. If if slime uh, Kaijo dot is abs- okay, Kaijo is nothing like that time I reincarnated as slime. As much as it is nothing. like Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's like that is the that's a terrible comparison. They have they're nothing alike. That means that shows you know nothing about what the anime is doing. Which is fine, but then you can't say it's just like this anime. Sounds as like it's just as bad. That's it, that's Shen. No, see, yeah, <laughs> that's terrible. And you watch Shin Chan, so I don't I want do. to hear that bullshit. I do watch Shin Chan. So yeah, Shin Chan's fucking uh, uh, Shin yeah. Shit, I'm just bro. gonna, yeah. never man, never mind. That's it. I'm just grading your tastes as fucking trash, <laughs> Japanese <Jeff. laughs> level. <laughs> bro, if you're not about Shin Chan, you don't know nothing. No, <laughs> you know nothing about trash. No. You, you know, you I would, would rather watch Watamote over Shin Chan. Oh. You, have you? Do you even know Watamote? That one was someone about. Yes. Was no, I not you, watched. not you, Izzy. Like I said, Izzy, you're so far out of the loop of like I told anime. You, I anime don't from watch. Japan. Yeah, no, no, I don't watch. Yeah, I won't watch like. Watamote hardcore, is like hardcore is Japanese like stuff. fucking trap mixed with Shin Chan mixed with fucking. You name it. Is it like assassination classroom? No, it's way like worse. No, no, way worse. Watamote is a huge fringe My. fest from the first like minute to the very last episode ending hmm. all fucking it's cringe. it's basically boko no pico on steroids oh is that that show on adult swim no that new anime with the it's kind of i watched like 10 minutes of that it's, I'm like all what? right it's kind of like if you made it's kind of like if you that. made the eric andre show an anime Okay. Let me so explain it like I that. I can watch Eric Andre. I might be able to watch that. You you might be able to do it. <laughs> like All I right. said, Trash Master style. All right. Izzy, Bro, I, I love Eric Andre. <laughs> I want you to go to Crunchyroll and watch Watamote. All right. Go do it. I'm, I'm about to see this. Why would gonna... black people do this to themselves? <laughs> Bang. to watch this. Oh. Said, if you enjoy Eric Andre, you will enjoy probably Watamote and fucking... Bro, Eric Andre's the shit. He got He's like five so seasons. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So did fucking cops. <laughs> Squidbillies has eleven seasons. That doesn't Woo! make it intelligent. Oh, bro, I'll sit down and watch me some Squidbillies all, all right. day long. All right, that's how I know it's trash magic because I also like that, but that's total trash. Bro, my favorite episode is the one where they're doing the bird. And they're playing that music for the bird. They're like, oh, yeah. and he's You want to get da- down? Yeah, you want to get down? He's all doing the dance. I'm like, oh, God this damn, is- this groove is funky. That, that's what I knew. I loved the show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which is so funny because that's like a season fucking like eight episode or something. I don't know. My favorite one on that one is where they go and fucking try to, uh, I can't remember if they're killed. It's either Dean Coos or Stephen King. They're like trying to assassinate him because he's trying to teach people to read. He's like, you don't need to learn no think I'm a reading. <laughs> I'm Just... conformalitizing the plan as like we speak. <laughs> See, at least I won't watch trash like uh, what's the others like Tim and Eric. Okay, that's that's too far. I can't go that. All right, far. Watamote is probably closer to Tim and Eric than Eric Andre. Oh my gosh, so it's that bad? Yeah. Oh, okay. Tim no, Watamote is Tim like Eric brain is melting. Pretty fucking bad. I can't even sit All right. down. And I will say, I, I forgot about those guys. I deliberately. And I can't believe they got the movie. <laughs> like I said, that's why I'm like, how do you, you can't give seasons because those guys like had how many seasons and a movie, and they were literally like 
bathing each other in fucking pig fat. And Clearly, like... I, every time I watched that, I thought it was on acid. <laughs> I said, I thought I was on drugs. I didn't know what was going on. And I was on drugs, and I thought I was on drugs. It's like, change this channel, hurry up. I need the, need the better c- scenery of mood right now. This is dude. too much for me. Oh, dude, it was so... Yeah, Watamote is probably more like those guys. I forgot about those guys. God, they're so bad. At least Eric Andre has a format. <laughs> 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 Bro, the first opening scene is what got me. Like, as soon as he goes in there, he starts wrecking shit. You're like, what the fuck is he doing? He's just breaking everything. <laughs> oh, like, and he's just hurting himself deliberately trying to break everything. Dude, he, he was all and over the And I couldn't tell if, like, like the some of the guest appearances he got, like, I don't know if they were in on it. I don't think they were they, in they, on they it. I don't really think anybody knew. fucking was and that, in. And those are my favorite parts when he would get them and they would be like, oh, oh. <laughs> I, was like, I don't think anybody had, like, unless they were, like, personally researching, I don't think anybody had any forewarning about it. They're just like, you want to come be on the Eric Andre show? It's on Adult Swim. Like, what the fuck? Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll be on there. Fucking get sprayed with fucking literal dirt and shit. <laughs> Jack like, Black was just like slapping the shit out of him or something. Oh yeah, I, I remember, remember that. Pow, pow, pow. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah, Eric Andre's a shit. <laughs> Trash man. <laughs> <laughs> Trash panda status. All right. Well, I think we're at our uh, hour and a half mark, so we'll we'll call that a good one. We got that a works. decent cast. Hour and a half. That felt like two hours, dude. Hey, look. That's because you suck. <laughs> oh wow, Michael joined. I'm surprised he didn't say anything. Oh, huh. Very strange. You punk. Anyway, I guess that'll be it. We'll catch you guys next weekend right. for more comic See you guys. Have a good one. Bitch, I swear my mind stuck on grind, getting dizzy. If you down a ride by my side, then you with me. I ain't gotta lie, I got pride in my city, justified. Guess that's why I stay busy, work.
Just with my mind stuck on grind, getting dizzy. If you down a ride by my side, then you with me. I ain't gotta lie, I got pride in my city, justified. Guess that's why I stay busy, work. So that was definitely interesting. Um, so we talked a few things while the trailer was going about the uh, CGI on that versus the Lion King's one. No, oh, and here comes your friend. Harold, get out of here. <laughs> Harold, yeah. alright, you gotta be on the stream, Harold. Hey, come here. Come on. Come on. Oh. He's like, I don't wanna be up here for you. Hey, buds. Oh, sorry. This sorry. is Harold. He's an unofficial member of. Oh, uh, you can't see him, but he's he's down here. Here, I'll pick him up slightly. He doesn't like to be picked up. Oh, there he is. There's Harold. <laughs> he's Axel today. Alright, you go back down, Harold. He's like, finally. You could, Yeah, he's like, I'm gonna go back downstairs. Go no, downstairs. get off that. That ain't. No. You. <laughs> Motherfucker, you're not supposed to eat pizza. Well, there he goes. Oh, well. He's pizza gone. eating dog. He's gone. He's gone. But Anyways. Dumbo, yeah, the Dumbo graphics were definitely um, not as sharp as... That's not that bad, though. They're not bad. They're just not as sharp as but the... Like I uh, said, yeah, the, if the Lion King was in um, top, you know, in tip-top shape, then it would just... It would take me out of the story, and I wouldn't want to really. Watch yeah, it. and like, and we also discussed like the reason Dumbo might not have the highest level is it's not all about the animals, and yeah. then we also have the people in there to work. So like, mingling semi live action with real live action is always gonna have like a little bit of disassociation. Uh, All right, Leo says, "What's up?" Hey, <laughs> what's up, Leo? How's it going, bro? We're just talking here about Lion King and all the new Disney stuff coming out soon. That's just crazy that they have Aladdin, Dumbo, Lion King, King and then that's not Toy including Story. okay Toy Story, and then that's not including Marvel stuff. Yeah, I didn't even it's think about the fact Captain that they own Marvel, all that. Yeah. Avengers. Avengers 4. Yep. Um, I feel like I'm missing. I know uh, there's. An, I want to see. Is Spider-Man coming out next year? I don't know. It should yeah, probably I be. Yeah, I think it is. Let's see. Disney releases. 2019. See what we got on the list for this year. Oh, including Star Wars, too. Didn't think about that. Is oh, that next year? Uh, I think it is. I think it will be. Okay, yeah. And that's the problem that they point out in this article is Disney's an absolute powerhouse, which includes things like Pixar, Marvel, and Lucasfilms, including all of their franchises. Um... So, like, they are also, they just released Wreck-It Ralph. Yeah, I watched that. This How uh, was it? You good? It was weird. No, that was not weird. There was just scenes where it's like, wow, hmm. That, was, that was not a question, but it was just like, hmm. It's just a weird scene. Interesting. <laughs> That's huh? it. That's all I had to say about it. Like, oh, fuck. Like, Mary Poppins. Oh, Mary, Mary Poppins. Poppins oh, in that's December. this year though. Yeah, yeah. It's December. Though. Then you get Captain Marvel, then Dumbo, then Avengers four, then See, Aladdin. See, I thought so. Yeah, there is no Star Wars this year. Yep. They're skipping. Nope, not this year. But then, yeah, it's Toy Story four, The Lion King, Artemis Fowl, which I don't even know. Frozen two. Oh yeah, there was speculation about that coming yep. out. And they'll be back to ser serenade us November twenty seventh, two thousand nineteen. Star Wars Episode nine next year. Oh, is it? Well, Leo's saying it's not next year. Is it not? This year. No Star Wars this year. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's 2019. Yeah, yeah sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I meant to say next and year. And it's actually uh, t December 20th, 2019. So we're like a oh, full Oh, so they're going back out. to yeah. their December... Release time, I think, instead yeah. Instead of the May. <laughs> they were competing randomly with... Randomly did. Yeah, they were competing with... Which so made no point. Which is weird, because I was like, why did they do... I was yeah, like, it didn't make any sense. It was competing around a lot of stuff. Unless they wanted to make uh, And then after, after that, they have... Granted, this one's like not oh, 2010. Yeah, Mulan's supposed 2020. to be 2020. Yeah, but still, when you look at that list, and that's just confirmed movies for now, uh, and those are basically just their major movies. That's a ton Maleficent of movies. Maleficent too. Yep, I thought I just forgot about that. Yep. Oh, what's Leo saying? <laughs> Artemis Fowl, boo, boo this man. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, seriously though, no, but it happens and. I'm I'm actually really wondering what they're going to do for Toy Story 4. You know what I mean? Because the last Toy Story, I felt like they left it on such a good 
ending. Ending, that was it? Yeah, like, where it's like, all right, Andy's going to college. 